High performance architecture is, is a, a mix of a number of aspects. Each project has its own set of criteria which is driven uh, partly by the client, partly by the site, uh, partly by the users of the building and all of these performance criteria need to be brought together in a building. We believe really great buildings are created when the intent and the meaning that one invests in a design in the beginning is seen all the way through, right to the last detail, right to that last day on site with a contractor, engaging with them about creating a complete product. And in a way that's part of our high performance philosophy. To ask questions that normal fans would, wouldn't ask, to go an extra mile in terms of uh, realizing those needs of, of, of the client to also look at a building from a practical point of view. So the high performance sort of concept and ethos that Activate runs with actually came from when we first started being involved with the green building. We did Sanral's head office a couple of years ago in Pretoria. A lot of effort was put into the high performance aspect of the Green Star rating that we, we, we attained for them. That was our first building that we had green rated and we realised that there was a need and a niche that clients were actually looking at saving money and costs later on the line because the building is performing better that there's no wastage. What the green building movement has brought to our context is to really consider design parameters of a wide range of, of issues that improve the experience of a building and improve the efficiencies of a building. All of that change in habits and design uh, ethos talk to this idea of, of, of a building that performs. For example, heritage architecture, which one wouldn't necessarily think about preserving a building as a performance criteria, but in fact, uh, re-performing a building to function in a modern context and going into the future retain its character from a, an era which is now only in memory is automatically a performance criteria that one needs to really consider. One of the most sustainable re, uh, uses of a resource is the reuse of that resource. So Heritage is obviously encouraging adaptive reuse of old buildings. Your environmental impact is minimal because you're not creating a new build. If everybody's thinking about buildings in that way, then no matter what, what one's entry point is, whether it's a client's prerogative to preserve uh, nature or a client's prerogative to uh, get a massive return on investment, those performance criteria need to be understood and, and then worked with by the team. We as the architects are not the, the sort of creators of this amazing vision without anyone else and everyone must plug into that vision. It's really about co-creating with client and, and engineers uh, in a high performance efficient way that, that then creates uh, a project that's beyond the expectations of, of the team and, and the client.